Hello guys, it's Abby and today I'm going to be doing a story time. I was going to be doing a painting video, my paint stuff is over there, but I decided not to do it today since it's almost at the end of the day and the lighting would be really really bad. So I'll probably do it tomorrow after school because tomorrow is Monday. I think me explaining what day it is is confusing for everyone. So I'll probably do it after school tomorrow, that's all I'm going to say even though you guys now know it's Monday tomorrow even because I'm filming this on a Sunday. But anyway, first of all, I'm using my phone to record because I, because the camera broke, and I have a tripod for it, and it's working very well, and I'm very, very happy. So let's get on with the story time. And you guys probably got really like she burnt down her house, well, almost, and it's a great story, so you might want to continue watching. So, I was maybe, well this was when we first moved to Newfoundland and I was living up in Ohio, Ohio Loop, and it was our first house we had, and I was probably, how old was I when I came here? One second, I'm going to ask my mom. Confirmed age. I was 10. <laughs> so it was five years ago, and it's funny, because I wasn't even that young. I was 10, so you would think this would be a normal thing for me to process into my brain, but apparently, it wasn't. Um, why did I click the wrong thing? So apparently I was 10, five years ago, and it, like I said, I, I, you would think I would be old enough to know the difference, not to burn down my house, but apparently, so at that age, I went to the middle school and my sister was still in the elementary school because here in Stephenville, we have the primary school, which is kindergarten to grade three. Then right beside it is the elementary school. So grade four and five, only the two grades. Middle school, we have grade six, sorry. Yeah, we have grade six to eight. And then the high school, which I'm in now is grade nine to 12. And we have four schools, so that's the four schools that we have. So at that time, Ashley was in the elementary school, um, yeah, grade five, and I was in the high school, grade six. So I came home before everyone else did, because my school got out first, and Ashley's school got out later, so I was the first one to come home when school was out, because my mom was still working. There's a cat running across my yard, and my other cat is on the window. And she's just staring Buttercup down. I've named the cat Buttercup. The butter the cat comes around here a lot. Maggie? Megs. Psst. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, Meg. Oh my gosh, I don't... I don't... I can wish I could be... I was always filming the cat right now. So me being 10 years old, I was the first one to come home, and I'll tell a little story after that. Um, I was really hungry, so like normally people are after they have school. So I was like, oh, I'll just make, I'll just make chicken nuggets. And me, I'm not using the stove, so I'm not going to use the microwave. And I did this normally, so I don't know what went wrong this one time, but it did. So I put the chicken nuggets out of the freezer and into the microwave. Um, I'm pretty, I don't know if we had the catch yet, but I think we didn't have the cats yet. And so I think, I'm pretty sure I put it on three minutes. I It could have been three or four, I don't know, because I thought, well, they were in the freezer, so might as well, like, not only warm, thaw them, but also cook them in the in the microwave. Because doesn't no one else, like, nuke hot dogs in the microwave? Just, like, put them in the microwave because they don't want to go out in the barbecue or something? Like, am I the only one that does that? So, since it is in the microwave, I go out elsewhere, wander the house, probably go up to my room and do my homework. I don't remember what I did, but I do know I wandered the house. And I'm coming home, like, my family end up coming home, like my mom and my sister, because my mom picked my sister up. And I'm, like, in the living room, I'm pretty sure still waiting for my food, because I didn't... I'm pretty sure I didn't get off that much before my mom did because I also had to take the bus so there were stops before mine. So I think I got maybe 10 minutes off before my mom came home. So they came home and they smelled something burning. They're like, Abby, is something burning? Like what happened? Apparently my chicken nuggets were still in the microwave cooking and I've completely forgot about them. 
So once my mom finally said, Abby, is something burning? I remembered I had the chicken nuggets in the microwave. I quickly ran to the microwave. The chicken nuggets were like burnt through a microwave. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And my mom's like, you are never cooking in this house again. Because the microwave was still going. Like it was still cooking the chicken nuggets. Like I thought I put it on like three minutes. Apparently, I put it on 30 minutes. <laughs> because 10 year old self doesn't know how to count or doesn't know numbers. So basically, if I continued with, like, if I continued forgetting about it, the chicken nuggets would have caught fire, then the microwave would have caught fire, and we didn't have an alarm system, like a fire detector in the house at the time, because we just moved in, it was like a new house. So basically, what the whole kitchen would have caught on fire, and me being 10, I wouldn't, I, well, I guess I wouldn't really know what to do, because my house is on fire, and I'm in the living room not realizing that all this stuff is happening. And like I said, we didn't have a smoke detector. So that's the time I almost burned down my house by cooking chicken nuggets. This video might be really short. I will add another story time. It at the same house, it's just a different time. So at the house, I like I went to school for like the first day. Well, not really the first day, but you you know what I mean. Like we moved from Kippins over to White's Ohio Loop. Why am I saying White's Avenue? That was the house I was before this. I moved, I'm pretty sure five times within the four years I was here. This was the second house we were in. I don't know why I said it was the first the first time, but this was the second house we were in in Newfoundland. So like I knew where it was and I walked to the bus stop and I'm like, okay, this is fine. So like I'm coming home from school for like after the first time being at the house and I get dropped off at my stop because that's the same stop that I went to this morning. I have no idea where I am. I don't know why, but I completely like, where was my house? Like. Okay, so you went, my house was here, and you just had to go a little bit, and like my bus stop is like by a mailbox, or what, a post box, or whatever it's called. So I like, I walked to my bus stop, so I should, you would think I would know where my house is after that. I couldn't see my house, and I had absolutely no idea where it was. And obviously, I was 10 still at the time, no, I think I was like 11 at the time then, and I don't know where my house is and everyone else is gone so I'm going one way like trying because I have like you guys know this I'm really socially awkward and I have social anxiety so I'm like okay make sure no one thinks I'm lost like I don't want anyone to think I'm lost so I like wait at the bus stop pretending to do something in my book bag while everyone leaves I'm like I'm going one way and then I go another I'm like my house is not here luckily there was a primary, the primary school gets off uh, like a little bit after the middle school. So, and their bus stop is like just a couple feet away from ours. And I saw someone I recognized, like she went to the same church as us. And I saw someone I, I recognized because my mom and them were like friends. And I'm like, oh, I'll just go over there and talk to her because she also lived by us. So I'm like, maybe she can help me. When I first got to her, I didn't admit that I was lost. I was just like, oh, are you waiting for Jonathan? Because that's their son's name. Because their daughter was too young to go to school yet. So I'm like, oh, are you waiting for Jonathan? She's like, yeah, how are you doing? And I think so. I'm like, I start having a conversation with her. Then Jonathan's bus comes and like he gets off and everything. So I start walking with them and she's not noticing something. I realize now that she knew where I lived and it was still by her. But at the time, I'm just like, I'm just gonna continue walking with you. Because I'm too embarrassed to, like, admit that I lost my house on the first day, even though I walked to my bus stop. So we're going by, like, it's just, like, literally, the, if I took the road, I would have seen my house. Now I think it's really stupid. But I didn't know it at the time. I was, like, 11. I'm a very stupid 11-year-old, apparently. And we're walking to uh, the girl's house. And her house is, was like two houses away from mine. So we're going on the street. I'm like, I'm look and I'm like, oh, there's my house. I gotta go. Bye. See ya. And she's like, bye, whatever. And as I'm walking the loop, I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is so embarrassing now that I knew that my house was just around there and I could have done that so easily. 
I'm pretty sure my face was red and she didn't know why. And I, I don't think I've ever told her to this day that I was actually lost on my first day. I shall do one more story time because I am awesome. This one, well this one happened in Toronto when I don't know what age, I was young. It wasn't even 10 or 11, it was like younger than 10. And this happened and it was so hilariously funny. I don't know why, but it was so funny. I don't even really know how this happened, but it did. Um, me and my mom and my sister were going somewhere and we live in a house, like we lived in a house like we do now, but a house, like not an apartment or anything. And I don't know how this happened, but we went to go to the car and my mom went to unlock it because we actually have to use the keys to unlock all four doors in our car because we haven't upgraded to just click on the keys and it opens because we, I don't know why. But we, my mom went to open it and she's like, okay, where's the keys? And she goes to go inside the house. And I don't know how this happened, but the door is locked. And mom's keys are inside of the house. So, me being little me, we had a two-story house. And the window that was easiest for my mom and my sister to lift me up in was like, soup. I, like, that's probably why I started chilling, because my sister lift and my mom lifted me up to go into the window on a two-story house. So I went on the second-story window that was like, I don't even know. So here is the window and like where my thumb is, is where, <laughs> here's the house and where my thumb is like the window. Like it was so high. And luckily the window was open. So I just knocked out the screen. And at the time our table was like right by that window in the corner. So I had to crawl across the table and go out and open the door for my mom. So that's how I started in gymnastics. <laughs> oh my god. The thing is, that's not the only time I've had to crawl through a window because someone in my family has forgotten the keys to the front door. Even now, like when me and my sister were both in middle school, um, we have a key padlock on our lock now, so in case something happened. The reason we have that is because our, like in order for when we have a key to unlock it, the ice in Newfoundland kept locking it physically so we couldn't get in without calling someone. So my mom got a keypad so we just punch in the code and we're in. But we didn't have that at the time. And me and my sister left our keys because we're really stupid. And I had to go around back and again this is like a two this is a two story house. So the window was really high here. And for some reason we leave our garage unlocked. So we got the ladder, not that time though, but sometimes we get the ladder. And at that time, my sister, we didn't have the ladder because the garage door was locked. So my sister had to hoist me up by herself to get into the bathroom window. Because that's the window we usually leave open when we go to leave. Because for some reason we do that. And so again, I punched out the screen. I had cats, so I had to make sure the cats didn't get out. So I didn't want to let the cat in, so I put the screen back on, and then I went out to the front door and unlocked it. And another time, most of the time, when we the windows aren't open in the house when we were younger, now we have the code, so it's fine. But when we were younger, and the window out back was not open, and we left our keys inside the house, we had to open the garage, because for some reason the garage door was the only one unlocked, and literally wait inside of the garage until my mom got home. We got out at like 3.30 and my mom came home at 4 and sometimes not even then and we had no cell phones so we couldn't contact her and say, hey mom, don't go shopping after work, we're locked out of the house. So that is it for this little story time thing. If you want to see more story times, tell me in the comments below. Click up here to check out my other channel, which is basically related around books. And click here to subscribe because that'll be really, really cool. Like this video if you liked it. And please don't thumbs down because it'll make me very sad. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. And if I miss one... Don't kill me because I'm just starting school again and it's really hectic, but hopefully we have no homework because the teacher said we'll all do it in class. In case you didn't know, I am in grade 10 now, so I don't know if I said that in my book video and my other video on this channel. Speaking of which, click up here to check out my video last week, and that is it for this video. Bye! There's a doggy! Hi, say hi to camera.
can say as a camera. Like, like. Hey. <gasps> Guys, did your dogs do this? Does that or is the my dog just really really weird? <laughs>